So tonight we have some new details about the Boston Marathon bombers. The FBI just released some new documents, and Lauren Lomanchek has been looking them over. She has more on this. Lauren? Well, David, these documents are heavily redacted, but they still give us some information about who knew what about the marathon bombings. It all happened in the days following the arrest of Jahar Zarnayev while he was being treated at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. It had been a week of terror and grief in Boston. Two deadly explosions at the marathon finish line and a manhunt for the bombers. Tamerlan Zarnayev was killed. His younger brother, Jahar, was arrested and rushed to the hospital. The FBI was desperate to know if anyone else was involved and whether there were more bombings to come. But according to the documents released today, Jahar told the FBI that no one else took part in the plan because they could not trust anyone else. He also told them there were no other attacks planned. There were no unaccounted devices. According to the documents, the younger Sarnayev also described how the brothers moved down Boylston Street and that no one helped them identify or select possible locations to attack. He also indicated that each of them decided on their own where they would stop near the finish line and drop their explosives. A second batch of documents obtained by the Boston Globe gives us new information about Tamerlan Zarnayev and show that just three months before the bombings, he passed a U.S. citizenship test, pledging allegiance to the United States and denying any links to terrorism. Now, some people question why red flags didn't go up as Tamerlan applied for citizenship because he had recently traveled overseas and he had an arrest record for assault. But Federal Immigration Services says no errors were found in Sarnayev's processing.